when we mention journey we do mean it so here is your ticket young historian to get started with the first round in kushala's junior edition of the family quiz sit down um, in your seat with your families hopefully and enjoy the journey with us and that being said look out the window and journeys are meant to be enjoyed so enjoy the view and the first stop the clue for the first stop is is somewhere in the tekken over to shrija to ask the first question and find out what our first stop will be all right looks like the train journey is quite calming moving on to the first question of today's quiz from the tekken Earlier known as Diogiri, Muhammad bin Tughlaq is known for foolishly shifting his capital to this place. Name it. So it's a ten-letter answer that we are looking for. And a small story here is that so the first capital of the Tughlaq dynasty was Delhi itself, and later he wanted to change uh, his capital to this place. The answer that we are looking for. So what he did was he made everyone in Delhi leave with him towards. this place and this place is quite far from delhi so a lot of people started falling sick and also dying and once he realized what a foolishness he had done he asked them to move back to delhi again which again caused a lot of deaths and problems so this was a very foolish inc- incident from history even though tukluk is considered one of the greatest kings so we have a lot of answers uh, here already aishwarya do you uh, want to pick somebody at random sure uh, let's see i think i'll be uh, looking at someone who has their videos on because i like to see faces so folks if you would like to keep your video on that will be really nice uh, can we hear from pulkit nagar uh, unmuting pulkit yes yes ma'am Hi, Pulkit. Hello, ma'am. What is the answer? What do you think is the answer, Pulkit? I, I think the answer is Tuklaka Pad. Oh, you think the answer is Tuklaka Pad? That's a very, very smart answer. Ah, uh, but ah, uh, that is not the answer that we are looking for, unfortunately. But it's a very, very good guess, Pulkit. Very good guess. We'll give that to you. Ah, uh, thank you for sharing your guess with us. Um. Can we have Shlok Venkat Raman unmuted? Sure. So let's get Shlok on stage, and here we go. Oh, Shlok thinks the answer is Dalatabad. Let's take a look, Shlok. And yes. Shlok, you are absolutely right. It is Dalatabad. While I review the answer, Shlok, can you tell us what made you think it's Dalatabad? Have you read about this? Uh, my parents helped me. Your parents helped you, so can you give them a big high five for helping you? Yes, awesome. Thank you so much, Shlok, for giving us the right answer. Thank All you, right, ma'am. let's. now take a look at the score board so after the, that question we have rahul acharya in the lead followed by pratham shrinath uh, anurima and gunjan so a big congratulations to all of you moving on we will now take a look at the dolatabad fort since we are at dolatabad right now that was beautiful isn't it aishwarya yes it is i love those aerial views they just capture everything at once absolutely and with that over to aishwarya for the next journey 
Yes. Also, some of you might be reminiscing of your travels, just like Pulkit mentioned when he saw the answer that hey, I have been to this fort. So yeah, not only are we going on a ride right now. So if you've been to the place, you can recall the memories that you've had there. And if you haven't, you can definitely imagine and look at all the beautiful visuals that we have for you. The second stop that we're headed towards is Burhanpur in Madhya Pradesh. So let's take a look at the second. question and here we go so branpur in madhya pradesh was the first resting place of which queen also the niece of noor jahan so this is the question uh, the answer that we are looking for is a two word answer with six and five letters each in the answer and also if you look at the image clue carefully maybe it will remind you of something that you may have visited or seen before and the biggest clue here for you is that it is the resting uh, first resting place of a queen who was also the niece of noor jahan so when we say the first resting place it so happened that uh, when the queen passed away she was buried here initially and then she was taken to another place which we also know as a very popular monument in fact So think of which famous person and which monument comes to your mind but uh, identify this person and it will lead you to the answer we'll wait for a few more seconds until we get a few answers and let's see who can answer this one shrija do you have any uh, one that you want to pick for this one sure aishwarya can we pick shubhangi tm at random to give us the answer okay let's get shubhangi on the spotlight and uh yes ma'am according to me the answer is uh, uh mumtaz mahal because she was the niece of noor jahan who has rested uh, in uh, burhanpur in madhya pradesh that's a really confident answer shubhangi uh, so shrija let's take a look whether shubhangi is right and many of you have also shared on chat that you think that the answer is mumtaz mahal and shubhangi has also shared why she thinks that's the answer so kudos to you shubhangi and everyone who got that answer right we were looking for mumtaz mahal and for those of you who joined just now i am going to share the kahoot pin on chat one more time so that you can log into the quiz and, and uh, very interestingly one person has given her earlier name that is arjuman banu begum so we are considering that also quite impressed actually from all of your history knowledges here that is brilliant indeed and with that let's take a quick look at the leaderboard we have suhana in the lead followed by shrinand somebody named w please do share in your real name on chat uh, arya chakravarti and rahul acharya and up by 18 places is vidita who is the highest climber for this question let's take a quick look if we have any visuals for burhanpur yes Yes, so welcoming you to Buranpur in that second question, and isn't the symmetry of that monument mesmerizing? Over to Shrija for the next place and the next question. Absolutely, and with that, we will now be moving on with our journey. So, where are we going? We are going to Dilwalo ki Delhi this time. Delhi has a lot of monuments, so you can take a guess at which one we are going to currently. and after we have enjoyed the view outside our train windows here is the next question for all of you so this is a picture the picture will pop up soon of chandni chowk taken from one of the minarets at aldina mosque what do we better know it as so we want to know the name of the monument from which this picture is taken it is a four and six letter word So there are two words here. The first word has four letters, and the last one has six letters in it. I can see answers have already been pouring in. 
another clue for all of you it is also called as the aldina mosque try to think about it a mosque that is situated near chandni chowk we are in delhi so this is all the clues that we can give you all right so we have around 60 answers in aishwarya do you want to pick somebody at random to give out the answer okay let's see um can we have gurudat answer this one i'm muting gurudat yeah ma'am the answer is uh, jama masjid oh gurudat thinks the answer is jama masjid let's take a look gurudat if you're right yeah okay and yes that is a perfect answer it is jama masjid gurudat and how did you know the answer did you take a guess have you been to jama masjid uh he is back on mute i guess also he had a yeah, really the, interesting background yeah i thought uh, because of the top you are there like the uh, what do we say the the dome, yeah. the dome on top yeah yeah from that i i had seen the picture in some uh, thing okay so, so it's from the picture and can you tell us where you are joining us from gurudat i'm joining from bangalore so i'm studying in deccan international school 6th grade Awesome, awesome, Gurudat. It it was thank the you. correct answer. Thank you for sharing your answer with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And let's move on and take a look at the scoreboard after that question. So here we have Suhana in the lead, followed by Rahul, Arya, Smriti, and Nandika. We also have thirty eight players who have reached the answer streak of three with that question. Over to Aishwarya for the next travel. Yes, before we go to our next place, here's a quick look at Jama Masjid. And as we know, Jama Masjid is where the Friday prayers takes place. And the word Aldina also means uh, Friday in Arabic. Just look at how huge the place is. Thousands and thousands of people gather here to offer their prayers, and a very beautiful looking structure as well. Beautiful indeed. Let's see where our journey takes us. Our fourth stop will be a little further towards Purani Delhi. So let's go there and uncover our fourth question for today's quiz. Here it is coming up on your screens right now. Located in Old Delhi near the Turkman Gate lies the grave of Delhi's Sultanate first female monarch. Name her. So this is the image clue for you. Again, a two-letter answer. Both the words have six letters each. And at the same time, think of who would be known as Delhi Sultanate's first female monarch. that should lead you to the answer and sadly uh, if you look at the uh, picture being shown here it is in a rather dilapidated condition so that is a kind of you know an unfortunate story where some people uh, i think the asi right shreeja yes the archaeological yes. survey of india correct the the people working behind the scenes at asi they did try to restore this monument so the story goes but they were unsuccessful in their attempt so it still lies dilapidated today and now that we have about 93 answers looks like a lot of people know who we are already talking about let's uh, find out who do we go to can we ask ishani mishra to share her answer please i'm going to go ahead and unmute ishani uh yes i think the answer is jazia sultan Oh, Ishani thinks the answer is Razia Sultan. All right, Ishani, let's take a look. And yes, you are absolutely right, Ishani. It is Razia Sultan. Uh, do you know anything about her? Uh, yeah, like um, many people were like protesting. The court members were protesting against her. 
to leave the uh, uh, you know the uh, like she they didn't want her to become the uh, king as such so they made her move and that's why uh, uh, Giyashuddin Balban came to the throne after him after her absolutely looks like Ishani knows her history that is absolutely right and another thing about Razia Sultan is uh, uh, being a woman, you know, uh, uh, being a woman sultan during that time was very difficult. Just like Ishani said, she faced a lot of opposition. But one thing that Razia did was uh, she made sure that, you know, she ruled with an iron fist. She also didn't like when people called her Razia Sultana because uh, a sultana is somebody who is the wife of a sultan and she was the sultan herself. So she preferred people call her Razia Sultan. So that is some extra information right there. Thank you so much, Ishani, for giving us the correct answer. Thank you. Over to Aishwarya for the leaderboard. Thank you, Shrija, for that interesting piece of trivia. We have Suhana in the lead, followed by Rahul, Arya Chakravarti, Nandika, and Ayush Mandube. And up by 16 places, Sahana is the highest climber in this round. And as Shrija shared some trivia, there is also the face to the name that we've been talking about. This is Razia Sultan. And as the queen of the people, she was the first and last woman sultan in Delhi ever had. Is something that we can remember, remember her by. So over to Shrija for the next question of the journey that we are on. Thank you, Aishwarya. So we are now moving on to our next and final destination. But we will not be revealing the name of where we are going because it's for you to guess everyone. So um, while we are going on the secret destination, here comes the next question. Let's see if you can decipher the location. So the Tree of Life featuring windows of uh, Sidi Sayyid Mosque inspired the IIM logo of which city? So it's an eight letter answer we are looking for. And this is exactly the inspiration for the logo taken from the windows of the Siddhi Sayyid Mosque featuring the Tree of Life. Here. So that is all the clues for you. An eight-letter answer that features this design in its logo. It's an IIM. So think of all the places that IIM is present in. The answers are trickling in. A lot of answers coming on the chat as well. So please do feed in your answers first on Kahoot and then send it here if you have time. All right. There are a lot of answers here. At random, can we have Sahana NB unmute herself? Sahana NB. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Sahana. What do you think is the answer? Ma'am, I think the answer is Ahmedabad. You think it's Ahmedabad? And why do you think it's Ahmedabad? Ma'am, it's my guess. It's your guess. All right, let's take a look, Sahana, if your guess is right. And yes, Sahana, you are absolutely right. That was an amazing guess. Can you tell us how you guessed it? Unmuting Sahana again. Okay, looks like we are unable to unmute her, but that was in fact the right answer. Absolutely. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the scoreboard after this question. So the scoreboard remains the same. Uh, we up 24 places. Uh, Shravan A is the highest climber. So congratulations to all of you. And let's take a look at the IIM Ahmedabad logo. So as you saw in the earlier picture in the question. Uh, this is the tree of life that has been uh, incorporated into the logo from the windows of the mosque that we talked about. And the tree in the Quran is used as an example for a concept, an idea or a way of life or even a code of life. So it kind of, um, you know, uh, represents wisdom and hence it was rightfully chosen as one of uh, the logo for the IIM and the Bad. So we have finally come to the photo moment of today. And since we talked about so many royals and beautiful architectures that were built by uh, these royal uh, men and women, 
we now ask all of you to pose like a royal just like this picture right here i'll stop sharing my screen so that i can look at all of you posing like a royal pretend that there's a rose in your hand if you actually have a rose around you please hold it and we will quickly take pictures wow all of you do look like royals here i can see agrima posing like a crown so that works as well that's very royal all right we'll start taking pictures all of you are looking so regal yes yes do hold your poses i see some of you smelling those roses some of you coming up with your own creative poses uh, and that's not an intentional rhyme by the way <laughs> but those of you who haven't switched on your cameras we'd love to see your poses too absolutely and it actually looks like we've traveled back in time no aishwarya with so many royals on call with us here today it does it does all right do we have enough pictures aishwarya yes we do all right looks like we can jump back to our quiz and moving on over to aishwarya yes so this is an announcement for all the parents who are joining us today if you would like a fun quiz for your organization the company that you're working with then do drop us your details on chat we will get in touch with you and make sure that all of your teammates and colleagues also have a fun time just like we do at the kushala family quiz or any other kind of fun engagement that your organization may need we can of course talk that through and organize the same for you so let us know on chat and yeah moving on uh, we also have a varsity quiz uh, coming up in partnership with zeroda and of course it's a quiz about financial knowledge where you get to win exciting prizes worth rupees 45000 in total and it's happening on february 12th so the link will be on chat you can register for the quiz in advance here you go i've shared the link on chat remember it's february 12th 5 pm and of course it will be all about financial knowledge and financial literacy all right uh moving on to round 2 over to shrija for the long visual connect thank you aishwarya we will now move on to the second round of today's quiz the long visual connect round so what is long visual connect especially for those joining us for the first time over the month of february 2022 we will be revealing one set of images every week each of the images are connected by one common theme so your task is to find out what that common theme is the first three correct answers of every week, week will be given a shout out and the overall theme shall be revealed during the last month of the last week of the month so with that let's take a look at an example of how this works so in the first week if we showed you a picture of marzipan in the second week we showed you the picture of almond blossom a famous painting by vincent van gogh in the third week we showed you amygdala which is a part of our brain and finally in the fourth week we showed you a picture saying california then the overall connect that we are looking for is almond so with that we will now take a look of the set first set of the february series so this is the first set of the february series take a look at everything displayed on your screen and start making your guesses on the chat so we have something that says hms beagle we then have a bbc earth poster of something that says galapagos and finally a building here a picture of a place a house all right moving on we have the long visual connect winners from last week so last week sachi chakraborty uh, sai prabhi ayer and ishani mishra uh, guest are uh, long visual connect absolutely right and the winners of last week's leaderboard are abhijay arvind smriti kaushik ilani shankar uh, ramya achar nithi r khushi jain venu gopal uh, arvind parnika rao and hiranya so a big congratulations to all of you so the beginners luck winner from last week are diya bhat aditya abish athar Uh, Anush Kumar, Harini M, and Parvati Rajesh. A big, big shout out to all of you as well. 
And finally, we come to the critical thinking pro. So critical thinking pro is where we intentionally or sometimes unintentionally hide some errors in our questions and in our set. And uh, we ask you to find them out for us. And last week we had misspelled T break. Uh, so we had misspelled T as T-E-E -E, and Sachi Chakraborty guessed it absolutely right and corrected us. And for the next uh, family quiz, as we earlier, earlier mentioned, we have Professor Chetan Solanki, India's Solar Gandhi, who will be joining us for the family quiz. The link to register for this quiz will be shared on the chat. This quiz will be happening on 20th February 2022. So uh, please note that next Sunday we will not be having a family quiz. The next family quiz will happen on 20th February 2022. So with that, we now move on to the rapid fire round. Over to Aishwarya. Thank you, Shreja. So get ready for the third round of today's quiz. The rapid fire round has six questions. And of course, you'll have to be super fast to climb up on the leaderboard in this one as well. So here we go. The first question on the rapid fire round on your screens now. Known as the wall of Indian hockey, who is the sports person who won the World Games Athlete of the Year Award 2021? Was it Manpreet Singh, PR Srijesh, Neelkant Sharma, or Gurinder Singh? So do guess who that is. There is an image clue for you as well. Focus on the, the keywords here, the wall of Indian hockey. And the correct answer, in fact, is PR Srijesh. So known for his goalkeeping abilities, he did won a lot of hearts at the Olympics as well and rightly won the award that we just talked about. We also have the leaderboard with Sahana, Nandika, Srinand, Ayushman and Arya maintaining their positions and also with nine players hitting an answer streak of five. Great going all of you. Over to Srija for the second question. Thank you, Aishwarya. And from the world of sports, we now move on to a true or false question. So, Mars Wrigley owned popular M&M candies. His mascots are called lentils. Is it true? Or we are just bluffing? Our M&M candies' mascots pictured here really called lentils. That is your question. Is it true or false? The blue button is if you think it is true. And the red button is if you think it is false. And yes, 74 of you getting it absolutely right. As weird as it sounds, m and candies' mascots are called lentils. And it does not taste anything like lentils. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. We still have Suhana leading, followed by Venu Gopal, Srinand, Santi, and Teza Reddy. Nine players have reached the answer streak of four with that question. So if you're curious about uh, the m and question, here is some important fact for all of you. So m and recently went through a rebrand and, and they call it an inclusive rebrand. So they redesigned uh, the lentils, the mascots in such a way that the uh, female character, as we see here, the green lentil used to earlier wear high heels. But to make it more inclusive, now she wears sneakers, as you can see here. So the redesign is focused on creating a sense of belonging and community as well as uh, spotlighting the characters' personalities rather than their gender. So I think that's a really good step taken by Eminem. Moving on, over to Aishwarya. Thank you, Shrija. I think this would be a rather, e rather easy question for all of you. Saying goodbye to the year of Ox, this Chinese New Year celebrated the beginning of the year of which animal? Was it tiger, dragon, snake, or monkey? Now, there were quite a few posts on the internet talking about the Chinese New Year. So you have to identify which animal is associated with this year. Well, it, as 63 of you said, it is absolutely the right answer. It's tiger that we were looking for. And uh, some of you were a little thrown away by the image clue, I guess, and thought it might be dragon. But well, in fact, the clue was leading towards tigers. And with that... Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 
Suhana maintaining her lead, followed by Santi, Srinan, Venugopal, and Tez Reddy. So, looks like Santi has climbed to the second position with a really super fast tiger leg answer. And Vanya is back with an answer streak of three. Over to Shrija. Thank you, Aishwarya. So, from the Chinese New Year question, we now move on to another type answer question. So, this is a connect question for all of you. So, I will add the audio so that you can listen to the audio element as well. Right, so that was the audio element. Other than that, here are some pictures on your screen. You can also uh, see some words written here. Try to put all of them together and come to an eight letter answer that we are looking for. A lot of answers are coming on the chat as well. Um, do feed in your answers on Kahoot first before sending it to us on Zoom. So at random, uh, Aishwarya, would you like to pick somebody to give out the answer at random? Sure, let's go ahead and ask Bhavesh Singh. I'm going to unmute Bhavesh. Uh, I think so. The answer is umbrella. All right, Bhavesh thinks the answer is umbrella. And uh, can you tell us why you think it is umbrella, Bhavesh? Because the book from Ruskin Bond, the blue umbrella, I think. Okay, so the book gave it away to you. Let's take a look. And yes, Bhavesh, you are absolutely right. It is Umbrella. So while I review the answers, can you tell us where you are joining us from and which grade you are from? I am from uh, grade 6 and uh, I am from Bangalore. You are from Bangalore. Thank you so much, uh, Bhavesh, for sharing the answer with us. And... Yes, so we have reviewed the answers. Let's take a look at all the elements. So the music that's playing in the background is the music of the title song from uh, the Mary Poppins movie. And if you know Mary Poppins, she used to hold an umbrella and fly with an umbrella. Uh, the other images here, this one is the oldest reference to an umbrella that we have from the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Then we have the Blue Umbrella, a book by Ruskin Bond that Bhavesh rightly pointed out. Then we have the picture here is of a Rajput Chhatri. So this, these monuments are actually tombs that are constructed for uh, over the graves of uh, royal kings and queens. And the, it's called the Chhatri, which is the Hindi word for an umbrella. And it also symbolizes protection. Then we have the umbrella dress here. Then we have another name for Hong Kong's pro-democracy pro, uh, movement is called the Umbrella Movement. And finally, derived from a French word meaning to shield from the sun is a reference to parasol, which is also the other name for uh, an umbrella. So everyone who got umbrella, you are absolutely right. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Suhana is in the lead, followed by Srinand S., uh, Santi, uh, Venu Gopal CH and Rajiv Ratnam. Uh, Pratham Gaurav is back with an answer streak of three with this question. A big congratulations to all of you. So here's a little bit of a fact why we chose Umbrella to be a connect. So did you know of the list of imported items that will become costlier post the budget 2022 announcement? Umbrellas are one of them. Uh, a little weird to see umbrella in a list, but yes, it is going to get costlier uh, from this year. Moving on, next question over to Aishwarya. This is a puzzle question for all of you. Arrange these ancient Indian monuments in chronological order of the era they were built. So from earliest to latest, you have to rearrange Kutub Minar, Red Fort, Hava Mahal and India Gate. Since it's a puzzle question, you have a total of one minute to rearrange. Make sure that you double check before you submit. Uh, you'll have to drag around the blocks in the right sequence and then click on the submit button to get your answers recorded. And looks like people have made up their mind within 30 seconds who have over 50 of you have sent in your answers. Still about 20 seconds to go. 
do make sure do you think about which era they belong to remember we are not talking about geography here we are talking about the era that they were constructed in and since we have spoken about so many lesser known monuments in the first round these are the popular ones which i hope many of you get the answer right but oh looks like a little bit of a googly only 21% of you got it right but no worries here is the correct order on your screen it was qutub minar followed by red fort hawa mahal and india gate so with that let's see who has the upper hand in the scoreboard uh looks like a bit of a change with santi leading followed by suhana shrinand and rajiv ratnam who also has the highest answer streak of 10 isn't that a record in itself followed by jia great going everyone and over to shrija for the next question thank you aishwarya so we now move on to the next mcq question mysore paints and varnish limited is the only manufacturer of indelible ink in india for which political use is it famous for that's your question and there are clues there so uh, the options are to sign official papers for stamp pads mark a citizen's finger after casting a vote or is it used for calligraphy so these are all of your options and yes 84 four of you which is the majority of you getting it absolutely right it is used to mark the citizen's finger after casting a vote and this is manufactured only by the mysore paints and varnish limited here in karnataka and it is also exported to a lot of east asian countries as well so there's some more trivia for all of you so moving on do check out our youtube channel for more such interesting facts like we just got to know about the indelible ink and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel as well uh, aishwarya will be sending the link to our youtube channel on uh, the chat please do check it out we also have a thriving whatsapp community and if you want to join our whatsapp group Uh, for uh, fun and interesting questions every day we will be sharing the link to the whatsapp group on the chat as well so please do share uh, join our whatsapp group moving on stay back till the end to find out who our lucky draw winner is and uh, while uh, aishwarya gets that ready we will also uh, we also want to hear from some of you about some of the monuments that you might have visited so at random i will be unmuting agrima to share about her experience of any of the monuments that she might have visited hello agrima we are unable to hear you all right looks like agrima is trying to connect to the audio all right she has the headphone ready can you hear us agrima yes we are still unable to hear you we will get back to you agrima soon while you figure out your uh, audio at random unmuting rohan shri kumar hello hey rohan can you share one of your experience uh, about visiting any of the monuments um well um i went to this fort in gokarna and yes. it was a really big fort and uh, me and my mom uh, we were exploring it and we found like a secret like a tunnel going inside and we both went went inside it and it was like a huge uh, like there were a lot of people in there but we didn't we thought it was like a secret place but Um, we saw a lot of people there, and there was uh, like you could see all these rooms inside, and how they used to live. So that's a great experience I saw. Thank you so much, Rohan, for sharing that with us. A fort in Gokarna, I think that is another recommendation, a travel recommendation for a lot of you. We will be taking in another of your experiences. So at random, unmuting Suryanshi. 
Yes, ma'am. Hey, Suryanshi. I uh, I went to Konark Sun Temple. Wow, Konark Sun Temple. Yes, and how was your experience there? I was very small that time, and it was really nice. It was really nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Suryanshi, for sharing that with us. Uh, we'll be taking one more because we still have some time left. So Priyanka, unmuting Priyanka at random. Hi, ma'am. Hey, Priyanka. Can you share one of your experiences visiting any of the monuments? Actually, I have only visited monument inside Tamil Nadu. Okay. So my favorite monument was Siruvalluvar statue. Wow. It was a very nice statue. It was actually very bigger than I expected. And was uh, like there were so many crowds and it was actually near a beach or lake. So the view was very good. And we went with the family. So it was a very good trip. And we actually went for actually a competition. But that time when I saw that, uh, like it was like a very inspirational statue, which I've seen in. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Priyanka. I think a lot of them have already uh, written down that place and will probably want to visit there as well. On the chat, please do let us know your experiences as well. Um, the others who haven't gotten a chance yet. I can see Atrey call writing that she visited uh, Elora Caves and it was a memorable trip. Uh, she saw she even saw the world's oldest monolithic temple. So that is uh, amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Once again, we would like to thank Rupa uh, Publications and the author, uh, Miss Rana Safi, for making this quiz possible um, and uh, also educating us about so many hidden uh, architectural gems of India. So stay back till the end to find out who our lucky draw winner is. And with that, let's take a look at today's podium. So in the third place, we have Srinant S. In the second place, we have Suhana. And in the first place, who do we have in the first place? We have Santi. So a big congratulations to everyone in the runner-up position. We have Rajiv Ratnam and Shlok Venkataraman as well. So well done everybody who placed in the leaderboard and everybody else who did well. But don't go yet. Please stay back. We still have the lucky draw winner to announce. So over to Aishwarya. Yes, and before we announce the lucky draw winner, like we said, the next family quiz is on 20th of February and the link is on chat to register for it. So you can go ahead and register in advance. And as we have a celebrity guest quiz master coming in, do not miss out on that edition. And with that, let's find out who is the lucky draw winner today. We have Vishnu Shri Guru Ganesh who gets a copy of A Saint, A Folktale and other stories by Rana Safi. So can we have Vishnu Shri Guru Ganesh with us? Unmuting Vishnu. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Hey Vishnu, how does it feel to be the lucky winner? Ma'am, it feels, I feel very happy. I actually feel very happy that I got to, to be chosen. I, I never expected it. It was very unexpected, unpredictable. That's really nice. Lucky indeed. Congratulations to you. Do drop your contact number and address on chat so that we make sure that your prize is shipped your way. And those who are in the top 10 will, of course, be getting the copy of the book. Some of you are sending across your addresses. So thank you so much for that. Uh, anything that you'd like to add, Shrija? Yes, on a closing note, I would request all of you to join our sub-junior edition of the Family Quiz as well. We have a guest quiz master, an author joining us there as well. A really, really cool book up for grabs there as well. So please do join in for our sub-junior edition of the Sunday Family Quiz, which will be happening at 3 p.m. today. And I think with that, we have come to an end of today's quiz. Uh, I had a lot of fun as usual, interacting with everyone, listening to their, uh, you know, stories about visiting different monuments. I think I'm still getting some of those experiences on the chat. 
So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Uh, Aishwarya, anything for closing remarks? Yes, I think some of you are requesting for the next week's family quiz link one more time. So I'll be sharing that on chat once again. Do go ahead and register. And like we said, we'd like to see you at the sub junior edition as well as the Feb 20th edition of the quiz. So thank you so much for participating, everyone. And that's it from Team Kyushala. I see you. everyone waving.